Each and every one of these river systems that drains into Puget Sound, the Salish Sea, has runs of salmon. It's a critical component of the entire ecological network as well as the cultural network. Historically, there were many, many salmon returning to these waters. Today, we're fighting for the last few. All the different species of salmon used to run up the Nisqually River. Unfortunately, every year, um, our, our salmon are getting less and less when they come back. My husband, Willie Frank III, he fishes right here on the set. His grandfather used this spot to fish, and so did his dad, Billy Frank Jr. There's a spiritual connection, cultural connection, subsistence connection. They're such a vital part to the ecosystem. I don't want to know and experience uh, what, what happens when we have no salmon. You think about Western Washington as an amazing aquatic environment with the Salish Sea, with these huge rivers that drain into it, and you see how we've interrupted both the complexity and the connection of that. You see the plight of the salmon. And where the salmon go, we all go. And at some level, most of us know that, but that's part of the work of salmon defense, is to communicate that, try to teach that, advocate for the change that needs to happen, and if we have to, litigate to make that change. When the tribal governments are fighting for their treaty rights, they're fighting for clean water, they're fighting for salmon, they're fighting for clean air, they're fighting for a healthy environment, and it just doesn't protect our tribal people, it protects all of our people. And we want people to not fear the tribes and their treaty rights, but embrace them for the gems that they are, because they um, protect and enhance our health, our quality of life. The inclination of salmon defense was from tribal leadership wanting to extend their standing in the region as leaders in protecting the resources that they depend on, but recognizing the critical partnerships and inviting others to walk with them in doing the work that needs to be done. And so salmon defense, while led by tribes, it really is also about building connections and partnerships and strengthening the region. We seen a need for coalition building, and so we created the Billy Frank Jr. Salmon Coalition. We wanted to commemorate and honor his life by empowering and inspiring and enlightening people to help us with this work. Because it's not just one person, it's not just a few people, it's not the tribes that can do it, it's got to be all of us. And Billy used to say it's all of us together that is going to turn the tide for salmon. We're the first tribally led salmon coalition that has sports fishermen and commercial fishermen and um, environmental leaders. They're people that haven't necessarily gotten along, but they all have fire and tenacity and have moved things in ways that, um, that others haven't. And so while we knew that we would have differences, we knew that our strengths could help save the salmon. In order to be a part of the Billy Frank Jr. Salmon Coalition, our members have to sign on to the three principal tenets, and that is um, habitat, hatchery production, and pinniped management. And pinnipeds are the seals and the sea lions. These are three major things that are affecting our salmon populations and you have to turn the dials all at the same time if we're going to prevent our salmon from collapsing. Um, Billy Frank Jr., for everyone who know him, was about coming together and using the strength of each of us to accomplish what we need to. And that's what the coalition is intending to do, is bring together the strength and the commitment that we know resides in this region, the science, the policy, the management, the leadership, and bring it together on behalf of salmon recovery. You know, salmon is the lifeblood for our state and for our people. And our hope with this coalition building is that, you know, maybe when we are 80 years old, we will have worked together. We will have came together in creative ways, innovative ways, and turn the tide. And we'll be able to see the salmon uh, plentiful and maybe someday walk across the backs of the salmon like the ancestors did.